Hello, I'm Latko Vedral and my book is called Decoding Reality. In this book I will present the most up-to-date scientific picture of our universe. As I grapple with what fundamentally defines our reality, I will try to present a strong case that it is actually information rather than energy or matter or anything else you can think of that is the most fundamental entity. The subtitle of the book is the universe as quantum information and this of course tells us that we need to use quantum physics to understand the ultimate meaning of information. Here information becomes much more bizarre than anything that we are used to from everyday world. In fact I will bring the reader to the frontiers of technology. What is it that we can do and what is it that we are trying to achieve with this? I will talk about quantum computers which are simply the smallest and the fastest computers allowed by the laws of physics. I will also talk about quantum cryptography which is actually teaches us how to encode information so securely that even the CIA cannot decrypt it and eaves eavesdrop on our conversations. Quantum cryptography is already out there on the market and you can buy it off the internet. That's how close to uh, quantum computers we are these days. I will also touch on some other topics which I think are very interesting, such as teleportation. How to teleport large objects across vast distances at the speed of light. And in fact, I will also discuss something that's perceived a little bit more controversial at the moment, which is whether living systems are in fact utilizing quantum computation for their own purposes to be more efficient. And there are many topics that I talk about in the book which may appear to be unusual unless you view them from information theoretic uh, perspective. Some of them are, why is there global warming and what can we do to reduce the amount of global warming in terms of information theory? The second topic is how to make the best diet for longevity. And here, surprisingly, information theory can also teach us about that. Another topic that I have here is why does racial segregation arise even if you have a community of most ardent xenophiles? All of this looks very different to each other, but actually is all captured within the same formalism of information theory. Finally, in the last part of the book, I try to attack what I think is the most exciting philosophical question for any human being. Why do we have any reality out there to explore? Why is there any stuff there in the universe rather than nothing? Surely nothing would be the simplest state of all to have. Here I try to argue that actually information can really give rise to all the stuff we observe around us. But what's really interesting is, and this is the question I ask at the very end, can information explain its own origin? Buy my book and judge for yourself.